Here's another problem related to energy in simple harmonic motion. So here's a question. You are riding in your friend's 1400 kilogram car, which has bad shock absorbers. When the car is driven over a bump at a speed of 20 meters per second, it undergoes simple harmonic motion with an amplitude of 18 centimeters and a frequency of 0.67 hertz. What fraction of the car's kinetic energy is tied up in this oscillatory motion? Okay, so um, the kinetic energy of the car, that will be one half mv square okay we can calculate that we have the mass of the car we have the speed of the car so that we can actually compare but the energy in the oscillations that's what we need to calculate so that's one half k a square now we know the amplitude that's given but we don't know what k is so how can we actually get to the energy of our simple harmonic motion well, so this is a good time to remember that um, for simple harmonic motion, the frequency is fully determined by the physical properties of the system. Okay, and so we've seen that the angular frequency for a mass spring system is square root of k over n. Okay, and so that's what we're going to use here. So from that, if we scare, square both sides, we find that k equals m omega squared, the mass we know, we don't know the angular frequency, but we do know the regular frequency. And of course the two are related. This is m times two pi f square. Okay, or we can replace k by four pi square m f square. Okay. And so that means that our energy in our simple harmonic motion of the car is one half. Now we plug in this k. So four pi squared times m times f square times a square. That's our total energy. And so the ratio of the two is then gonna be one half four pi square m f square a square divided by one half mv square. So the one half drops out, the mass drops out. So you're left with four pi square times f square times a square divided by v square. Plug in the numbers, so it's four pi square times 0 0.67 square times the amplitude was 0 0.18 meters square. Well, this is one per second, of course, divided by 20 meters per second square. And that should then be 0 0.0014 which essentially is 0.14%. So 0.14% of the car's kinetic energy um, will essentially go into that oscill oscillatory up and down motion when you um, don't maintain your shock absorbers.